So they want us to graph a line through a given point with a given slope. So we can do this one of two ways. We can go ahead and graph this line and analyze the graph a little bit more. Or we can use something called the point slope formula, which if you have a point and you have the slope, you can just plug it in and get the, the equation of the line. So let's go ahead and graph first and see what this might look like and then we can compare the point slope form. So it gives us, and granted this is freehand, so it might, there's a small margin of error there. Here's our point, one, one, so we would go from the origin over one, up one, this is our point one, one, and we know that our slope is negative three. Well, our slope, m, is equal to the change in y over the change in x, how it changes vertically divided by how it changes horizontally, and it is equal to negative three. Well, we can express negative three as a fraction, just negative three over one. So this gives us directions. It's saying as we move negative three in the y direction, we need to move positive one in the x direction. So down three to the right one. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, also understand we can also do the reverse of that, which is one neg or three over negative one. These are both equivalent, these both equal negative three. This would tell us to go up three and to the left one. So if we go down three, down one, two, three, and then to the right positive one, we would be there. And then if we were to go up three and back one, we would go up one, two, three, and back one, and it just so happens it gives us our y-intercept. And this is what our line looks like our y-intercept, b, being positive four. So we can just plug this right back into our um, slope-intercept form. We know our slope is a negative three, so we just go y equals negative three times x, and then our slope, or excuse me, our y-intercept, we see it crosses at positive four, would be positive four. And we can compare that to, if you have the slope, negative three, and some point, uh, x1, y1, which is our point 1, 1, so this will be 1, 1. You can plug it into this formula, which is y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. I'm running off the page here a little bit, so let me move over. I'll write it again, y minus y1 is equal to m times, or slope times, x minus x1. So you just take these numbers and plug them in where they need to go. So y minus y1, which is one, I'll put parentheses around it, equals, in parentheses, our slope, negative three. I'm gonna make this brackets, x minus our x1, which is one. So then you just simplify from there, y minus one is equal to negative three times x minus one, and then you would distribute negative three times x is negative three x, negative times a negative is a positive. And then you have y minus one over here. Then we would just use opposite operations to get y by itself, adding one to both sides. And we finally get y equals negative three x plus four, which is our, if we compare, we get the same answer, and that is the equation of the line.